Hello, welcome to Cornwall. My name's Andy Paramore, this is Andy's Cornish Creations, and in this video I'm going to be making a little whistle keyring. I've got a little kit, I'm making it, uh, I've, got, I've done one of these before, and uh, I need a little whistle to call Ivy back when she's running around the garden. And, uh, and I'm in the workshop and I have to keep an eye on her. Um, I got it from uh, Procraft and um, it's a nice little kit. It's not a loud whistle but it's enough uh, for her to hear. It's nice high pitch so a couple of toots on that and she can uh, generally hear me whether she take, <laughs> makes, takes any notice or not is a quite another matter but uh, we're getting there and uh, for the wood on this kit I'm going to use a piece of um, I've forgotten what they call it and for the wood on this kit I'm going to use a little piece of paddock it only needs to be what is it it's about an inch and a quarter long so you don't use a lot of wood good good way of using some little scrap pieces and uh, yeah they make it's a nice little kit anyway let's get on with it I missed drilling the center out of the uh, blank uh, but uh, here's an idea of how I did it anyway I do seem to have a bit of a wobble on uh, on this. I possibly a bent drill bit. I'm not sure. Just put in the brass tube onto the piece marking it, marking the piece of wood just slightly longer than the tube and then I'll cut it to size Just roughening the outside of the tube up so that when I apply the glue it gives it uh, something to adhere to. Then applying the CA glue. it into the blank, giving it a little twist as it goes down to try and get a nice even distribution of glue. And set it in so that it's just inside. Just give it a little spritz with the accelerator just to help it go off a little bit. And then I get the barrel trimmer and just trim the wood down until it reaches the brass of the tube. And that means that, uh, that the ends of the wood are nice and square with the barrel. So that when I put the kit together it will fit nicely and no gaps. You see there when the, when the tube's shiny it means that you've got down to the tube nice and evenly. I miss the beginning of the turn in here. So 
just turn it down. I'm going to make this one quite fat. Just to give it a bit of uh, something very small piece. Uh, make it so it's uh, a bit of substance to it. I'm using my spindle gouge for this. Yeah, I'm just putting a couple of little grooves in so that I can wire burn a couple of lines into it. And I use a, it's a piano wire with a little timber blocks on the ends. Burn it into the water. down a little bit and then go through the grids of sandpaper from about uh, 120 down to about 400 
some of my abrasive paste. Give it a bit of a <laughs> yeah, in the background. Give it a bit of a polish. some Libron special pale French polish. This will uh, should give it a, a nice a nice shine. Now I'm just going to put the kit together, just press the whistle part into the into the brass tube. Oh, put your fingers. the key ring end onto the other end of the tube. Just try and keep it lined up so you don't damage the tube. And there we have it. Finished article. Okay, so there we have it. Nice simple little project, a little Procraft um, whistle key ring kit, and uh, in uh, with a piece of uh, Paduk. Uh, I'll put some little pictures up at the end, and um, if you like the video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up share and leave a comment if you can that'd be great uh, the only thing left to do um, is to see if it works i will uh, see if ivy will come back to me when i give her a little whistle <laughs> miracles might just happen <laughs> cheers thanks Good girl. 
Слышите, как ты? Ой, как я. Ой, как я.